Yeah, I think um, Sonya Blade should have been a. Uh, uh, she should have had like a a kiss of the on the cheek, the and cheek. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they should have like um, face peel off like like nasty. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> Mortal Kombat for the ECW Genesis. Man, I remember when I very first played this game. I hated it because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know any codes, any finishing moves, and all the hype was built up. Oh, Mortal Kombat, I gotta get this. And I was a Street Fighter fanboy at the time anyway, so uh, I've always loved Street Fighter better. Uh, but I want, I gave Mortal Kombat a try, and that night I just took it back to the rental store because I thought it sucked. But then I was like, you know, I need to give it a chance now that I know how to do finishing moves and stuff. So I bought, went ahead and bought it, and then played it, stayed up all night and played it doing finishing moves, and man, I got hooked. And so Mortal Kombat for the Sega Genesis is uh is freaking awesome. Much better than the SNES version. Um I mean the SNES version could have been better if they would have uh, not censored all the all the all the blood and, and gore and fatalities and all that stuff. But uh I mean <laughs> and all the uh all the all the codes the Dullard code we can do like kind of weird stuff on there. I forgot all the stuff you can actually do with that code. I just know one of the things I think uh the computer, if they always win, they always do fat- fatality on you. Um, you can always fight in the courtyard all the time and not change stages. Have weird shadows in, in, in the face or Santa Claus, and the reindeer fly in the background of the pit, and uh, other stuff too. I forgot. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game was real epic when it first came out. I mean, it, it was an arcade hit, and then when it came out on the home consoles, man, everybody wanted it, especially the Genesis version. Uh, Mortal Kombat really uh, gave Street Fighter uh, a run for its money. Uh, one of the best fighting games of all time. Very innovative for its finishing moves and and, and uh, violence. So man, I, I had a lot of great memories of Mortal Kombat. Um, I might say I might give this game an 8.5 out of 10. Venom. Um yeah, this game's uh this game's all right. I remember the first time I played it was at Walmart and when they had their cage in the front near the entrance. I was watching some guy play a scorpion and he threw the spear at that guy's face and then uppercutted him in the face. <laughs> then I looked at that guy's face that was playing a scorpion and he had a smile on his face and it made and it gave me a smile on my face. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I played that guy, I put my quarters in and he kind of taught me how to play. I was using scorpion, pretty much just back back with back back uh, low punch for the spear and I was like, I know, I know how to play this now. <laughs> oh yeah, but the only thing that I couldn't get used to was the block button. I still kind of don't get used to that because I'm a Street Fighter and a SNK player and so I'm used to pushing back for blocking but yeah I mean uh, Mortal Kombat is fun but you know a lot of the animation is kind of stiff um, it's not as fluid you know the motions and stuff like in other fighting games like Street Fighter SNK games but it's, it's, still, it's still pretty fun even some of the newer ones are pretty fun but you know a lot of them are kind of broken in terms of gameplay and balance but uh, still I still haven't played the new one I played a little bit and you know it's alright probably buy it when it gets cheaper but yeah well Raw Mortal Kombat is fun you know one of the first games with you know violence and gore that you know became mainstream and uh and uh Scorpion's the best I give this game out a score of uh 5 out of 2 that was awesome yeah I remember um remember going to Walmart and uh Coming out of the game, uh, coming out of Walmart with uh, just a regular game like Primal Rage, and all these kids were coming out with new Sega Genesis. I think it was like the second version with the Mortal Kombat game, pressuring their mom to buy that game despite the news, despite everything you heard. I mean, it made the kids want it even more. So, you know, I was like, well, I already have a Genesis, and uh, I was gonna wait to get Mortal Kombat because it kept selling out. So I ended up games with Primal Rage and all these other fighters that nobody wanted. So that's what I had to deal with. And I remember first playing at Peter Piper Pizza. And um, it was right next to the Street Fighter cabinet. And I was like, wow, this game is awesome. Nobody was even playing Street Fighter at that time. And Mortal Kombat was taking all of its you know, quarters. <clears throat> and I was just a spectator because I couldn't play. Why? Because it was always crowded. So I had no choice but to wait to buy the game. But uh, yeah, the game is uh, very innovative, different. And... Uh, um, I would definitely give it a, a 9 out of 10 because it did live up to the hype for the Sega Genesis version. The Blood Code 
had uh, had endings uh, and it had good storyline, had good everything. I give it a nine out of ten. Uh, it lived up to the hype. Yeah, it really did, and it became a legend. And the uh, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, Mortal Kombat for Sega Genesis. Uh, I think we all agree it's pretty ECW. And so there you go. And that's it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. Archangel Zero. <laughs> God bless. Take care.